Hello Tubesters, it's Gav. Welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, today we're going to be looking at some Empress Miniatures 18mm metal, well, uh, well they're actually AB Miniatures uh, within the Eureka range. Uh, and they, at the moment, they are, I think they're French Carabiniers. Uh, is there an F on that? Yeah. They're French Carabiniers. So uh, you'll notice those. Those are the guys with the, uh, you'll see them on uh, paintings at Waterloo with a uh, white jackets uh, with the with the br uh, brass helmet with the the red ripple helm, so the red roach over the top. Um, so the, these are they. Um, however, they're going to be not massively converted, more painted converted, but there will be a, a few little bits and pieces probably have to be changed on them. They're going to be converted uh, for a client of mine who I've been painting for for many years. Uh, to every two or three years, uh, then he has to have a lie down for a bit after after what he spent and having to deal with me for, for a few months. Uh, and then he comes back a couple of years later and he wants something else doing. This time, that's a trumpet. Uh, he wants Westphalian Garde de Corps. These were a unit for King Jerome, I think it's Jerome, uh, the West, who was Napoleon's brother, as you know, as Napoleon crashed through Europe, he'd stick his many family members as he could on the thrones of different uh, different uh, European states. Westphalia got Jerome. And uh, this Garde de Corps was, never actually saw action, as far as I'm aware. And it was an escort unit for him, and he lavished thousands of... Uh, pounds, euros, dollars, whatever you want to call it, on about two or three different uniforms. And as this was a guard unit, so it just followed him around, you know, when he visited other monarchs, you know, they'd be riding at the side of the coach and all that stuff, or people, other monarchs visiting, you know, they'd be all down the steps. If you think of, you think of our own uh, guard cavalry uh, that do the state opening of parliament and stuff, and they line all the steps and all that stuff. And my client, this was the first unit, he won't mind telling you this, uh, we'll keep it to ourselves. This was the first unit that got him into Napoleonics and he's never had it uh, because it never took to the field. And it was quite small anyway to take to the field, you know. Uh, but he uh, he's always wanted it and f for whatever reason uh, he's decided uh, now would be a good time to do so. So we're going to... I'm calling them converted, that will be converted. They will be in to a degree because I'm going to remove the sabres and make some metal ones. Poorly probably, uh, but he's, he's, he's ready for that. Uh, and um, we'll probably move some arms around and stuff. It's sometimes hopefully just bending them in places because they will be white metal, they do just bend and it just gives you a bit of a, you know, individuality is the word I'm after. Don't ask me to spell it. Uh, um, so yeah, lovely, I've had a look at some uh, nice AB figures as always, uh, don't appear to have too much clag on them, um, but anyway we'll go and we'll have a quick look because I know I know these type of figures and there's a few of you out there that doesn't, don't. So yeah, Westphalian Guard de Corps, they will eventually be. Now he has contacted me again and said, um, the more he's thinking about it, the more he'd like to add a couple more cavalry units uh, to the ledger. So we'll we'll see. I don't take on many commissions these days, um, mainly because people don't contact me. <laughs> no, no, the head's that smashed. I, I'm, I'm, I get, I start struggling with commissions now. But I've been painting for this gentleman for for a few years now, a good few years, um, and he's always really easy to deal with. Um, I always like it, like his style, so um, yeah. Uh, not, I don't mean because he's a snazzy dresser or anything. Uh, I don't think he'd ever he'd ever be uh, put in that uh, department. But uh, yeah, he he's he's just a, a nice, in modern terminology, which I don't like using, chilled uh, person to work for. So uh, let's go down to the bench. I've waffled on enough, uh, and we'll take a look at these in the raw. One, should you ever want to buy some of these excellent uh, Carabiner French? cavalry or should you want to turn them into a guard corps unit uh, we'll see what a disaster that comes with the green stuff and the as we go along so uh, let's get down to the bench take a look 
Right, tutors, thanks for joining me at the bench. The, well, there's three packs in the box I've been sent by the client. Uh, two lots of, of rank and file, so we'll only look open up the one bag because it's not worth it. These are the uh, command pack. So it's a zoom in, speed of light. Fantastic figures again, sculpted by Anthony Barton. Uh, chock full of details uh, as these are officers they've got the uh, they've got like this disc at the front well West Wales and Guard Decor have got a, a, a sunburst which is probably larger than that on the on the, the breastplate itself it's like a big sun, metal sunburst um, the, the Guard Decor were taken from mid, middle class volunteers so although they were like privates, uh, they were all well up in the social order. And I believe it was often used as well as a, almost like a training ground for young officers as well. Um, but we're going to be adding, we're going to be adding some plumes to these. We have a white plume with a black roach on top with a silver, uh, well it's not silver, but what, uh, you know, like a steel a helmet, steel uh for want of a better word, visor here, peak of the of the helmet. Uh, the I don't know how we're going to get it on. I I doubt I'll be. I'm, I'm I've got to do some trial and error with these, uh, which might take a while. Um, but the guard decor have three scrolls going up the side of the helmet. Now I don't know if I'm going to be nifty enough to replicate that in green stuff or putty in general. Because it's my, I'm not Anthony Barton. I, I can't get tiny little things on. Um, but we'll have a look. Uh, but yeah, so they and they would be done in like a brass. Uh, there'd be a brass edge to the to, to the metal helmet as well, and obviously brass uh, brass crest that holds the uh, the roach on the top. Uh, short tails, which is good for us. Uh, we'll have to clean a bit of clag out. There always is in places. That's just metal figures. Um, I will chase out this between the scabbard and the boot with my Dremel. We'll re we'll nip this off. I don't try and get fancy and replay and and do the the sword hilt basket, whatever you want to call it. I just snip these off, drill in, and um, flatten the paper clip out. Literally with my Dremel, just just making it flat. Uh, and the good thing with these like uh, heavy cavalry type sabres are they are straight which helps me um, so uh, yeah um, that's I think they all seem to be I don't know they got is this guy the same yeah I think they're all the same I th sorry where are they? is that the same yeah they're all the same aren't they so I'm thinking maybe I'll, I'll be speaking to the client first, but I'm thinking of of at least moving a couple of these arms so they're not all the same. Uh, all the trumpeters, I'll show you one because the trumpeters are all the same again. Let me just check if we've got at least some heads heads moving around. Is that head? I would say that's the same in it, yeah. So we might uh, remove some heads and turn them just to give again a slightly different look. Um, that one's quite a simple. It's not say like if you've got if you've got some French uh, cuirassier or dragoons, and obviously they've got instead of having this this roach that goes up, this would be a bearskin roach, I believe. Um, they uh, on these guys any not on not on not on these carabineers but on the on the guard de corps the Westphalian guard de corps but I'm saying if when you do a head swap with these if you if you've got the cuirassier with the the horsehair plume uh, well falling down the back obviously it's slightly more difficult because you've got to match the horse hair up and that uh, but these are fairly straightforward to to remove the the head and uh, and change the position. Um, it's just the it's the trumpet itself and the arm 
I'd like, you know, it would be nice. If I can't get away with doing anything else than moving the head, then that's what we'll do. But uh, I might investigate how it would be to try and change the arm around, but I might struggle on that, but we'll see. Uh, so that's so that's the the musicians and the the officers. So I think we'll agree on uh, we'll be moving heads because again they're all looking in the same direction. So we'll move our heads forward, side to left and right. Uh, we will attempt maybe, and this is all with the client is giving me the okay to do it. But uh, he'll probably see this vid, so he'll know what I'm on about without me having to put it down in writing. Uh, you know, we may play around with the arms as well, just to just to make it that slightly bit different. Horses. Uh, this one's always a. a see, th this annoys me to a degree. That horse, to me, isn't particularly moving uh, in this pose, this particular pose. So we've got that one there. Is, is it the same? No, but it's more or less standing really. And then you've got these charging. I never understand our manufacturers. If if a client asks, well not client, but if somebody asks for a charging poses, what is the point in sticking that in amongst that? So the unit is charging, but this guy isn't which is blooming annoying. Now, I thought we'd gotten away with that. I'd looked at uh, the other, the rank and file figures and they didn't seem to have that pose in them. But we've got a load here. Now it could be that, you know, I don't know if the clients, it could be that the clients, I won't, I won't knock the manufacturer because it could be that the clients ordered these with a standing pose. Because they will sell you charging horses so we'll have to have a word with the client. Um, I may have some spares or some of my own that I'll have to forego and, uh, and replace because you, you need at least, I mean this to me isn't particularly charging, he's, he's like cantering but at least you, it's just you've got to, you know, you've got to make them, if they're in a unit they've got to look roughly the same in the sense of, of movement wise in my opinion. So as I say this could be just down to um, that the clients, because you would have ordered these individually and make up a how many numbers you want. So one or some, either the client or the or the you know Eureka have made the cock up. I don't know. Um, but some some manufacturers, uh, I've I've done twenty eight mil metal ranges where you buy the the pack of so many figures, so it's a set pack, and they say we can't change these figures, and you just have to hope. And the times I've had charging, again, it's usually the command like this. You get a load of charging uh, rank and file, and then you get, like, maybe the the musicians, like, say, in this case, might be uh, with, a, with a standing horse or a walking horse. And you, it just looks ridiculous in a, in a unit, you know, of charging, charging blokes. So uh, we'll work our way around it. So that's the first uh, hiccup, but it's not a big one. I'm sure I've got, well, in fact, I know I have. I have got spare charging heavy horses from my own collection one day <laughs> to be painted and they may have to be donated to the cause. Um, we shall see. I was going to stop this bag rattling but oh, to hell with it, let's just tip them out. Uh, we'll put them to one side because the camera will focus. So these are your rank and file. Again no, um, they would have all had a sunburst on the Breastplate. The thing is with this sunburst on with these guys is you won't see it because of the the cartridge you know, box slings and stuff. Um, but we'll have a I'll have to put a plume in there. Uh, snip this off. Is it almost looks rounded? I don't believe it had like a horse. I think that could just be how it's just come out the the mould and transported but it will be a straight should be a straight sabre I believe um, and we'll snip that off and make our own now on my own figures I'll have to ask the client what he wants uh, on my own figures I've began to on my cavalry because I've got a small Prussian collection that hasn't been touched in ages uh, I, I got to 
starting to manipulate these chabriquet horse blankets as I call them they're not, they're not blankets but you know decorative covers uh, and literally turn some of the corners out if when on the charging poses as if they're galloping along um, I mean a lot of time in the field they'd actually hook the bottom corners up they'd actually do like hook you can you can uh, hook them up and you'd often just see the exposed um, like hessian type stuff underneath uh, and it's just to keep the the muck uh, flicking up the, the these expensive covers but i would have thought in actually in a charge in battle they'd want to show themselves off so i'd imagine it'd be down so but i i, I have been like bending these out because they don't always sit no matter how many file i mean i've given them a good file in the center they don't always sit absolutely you know, straight you know and you have to fill them in so i've got a bit of clag there that'll need to be cleared up uh, you're not going to really get any probably any joy although that's bent inwards let's just see actually i'm not because i'm not au fait with this unit I've, I've got i have got the uniform details on them I've given them a brief look. Now these are actually bent, these ones. Isn't it funny, I thought these had straight straight sabres, so they must be bent, which will make it nice and difficult for me if the guard de corps, I swear the guard de corps had straight, straight sabres for heavy cavalry. Tended to find heavy cavalry had straight sabres because they're the shock cavalry that run down enemy infantry and literally you know go through them with a straight arm with a straight saber rather than a slashing type saber that a, a light cavalry would use uh, but we'll check out what's going to be done on there we'll, if yeah I've done, so I'm looking at these almost for the first time I had a quick brief look so I would say looking at those two two or three whatever they were standing horses I would imagine that it could be a case that the client has ordered those and they've maybe pressed the wrong button and put a standing horse because all these guys are on charging horses and if that's the case uh, we'll have to uh, dip into my own, my own units and because uh, I'm not going to be getting anywhere close to doing anything for a while with them so um, I might have to uh, swap out a couple of my own horses for that for, to get this this unit done rather than faff around waiting for for more for more horses to come in anyway there you go it gives you a let's give you a just what oh i never did go on about the reins did i so i drill out the reins at the front here see this uh, infill here uh, they're not hard to do what i normally do is chain chain drill two or three holes in a straight line then using a sharp scalpel watch your fingers if you're watching this this is supposed to be for 18 year olds and above um, so you know just watch your fingers with a sharp scalpel because I do occasionally um, slash my fingers as you miss and, and give you a nice stab mark in your in your fingers um, but yeah we'll, we'll we'll get rid of that that clag make the the reins look good there are a, I'm not going to go looking for them now, but there's at least one pose in in these horses because I've done a lot of them over the years. That uh, the 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 neck goes through the reins. Um, it's a lovely little pose, um, and you obviously can't do anything with that. Uh, this one's always slightly harder because you've got to get underneath there, but it's all doable. It just takes a bit of patience. Uh, I was looking because this is a guard unit, and they had a particular parade dress gala dress I think it was called uh, they do show and I'm not sure if it's on all the rank and file or if it's just the officers but I need to look that up on the harness work they've got the, the ceremonial like uh, gold um, harness not the whole thing it's, it's hard to explain but um, like the two reins here one would be gold uh, and they usually, what I've seen is like a um, rosette, gold rosette on the back here, on this this uh, harness here, and along the along the uh, side here there was gold, but if as the main is on both sides here, you might need to do that. 
and to make it look any good you'd have to clear that, that up which again isn't a massive problem um, again here um, they put like they threaded some some uh, tack throughs uh, you know uh, like gold tack for ceremonial parades and stuff and there's our friendly ice cream man bang on schedule I'm going to shove that 99 straight up his left nostril one of these days. Right, thank you very much for stopping by and taking a look. Uh, 99's an ice cream cone, by the way, over here, with a chocolate flake in it. Um, so, yeah, that's what we've got coming up. We've got, um, I can't even remember now, 24, 24 around 32, 30, 32, something like that. Um, cavalry figures to do they'll all be based so it will look a nice unit to show you um, I'll be sticking some vids, vids up um, so the client can look as well uh, I always send my clients photographs anyway but he can also look at the video uh, and you, you you can follow the progress we can see, <laughs> you can see this is going to take a while <laughs> um, so uh, yeah I've got a fair bit of cleaning to do uh, with the Dremel and the files get these all these sorted first um, I will I normally just snip the uh, I'll, I'll make all, all the uh, swords in advance and then just snip them as I go and, and replace them uh, but the swords won't be replaced until I've manipulated the arms I think that was all off camera and manipulated heads the heads will actually turn a lot of the times if you're very gentle and you're not using a great if you're going to use pliers you have to a lot of the time but if you are try and use a smooth pliers or or put some tape around your pliers anything that you do not want to be crushed this is soft metal and it will it will crush if you're not careful or or at least you'll dent things and knock knock all mr barton's lovely sculpting work out of uh out of sync so look after yourselves many thanks for stopping by and taking a look i hope that's of interest to all the napoleonic lovers out there i do have a fair few people that follow just for the um napoleonic figures and there hasn't been a lot on the on the bench of late so there's going to be a lot now <laughs> um all goes well with this one there may well be another couple of largish um cavalry units coming up as well I believe westphalian but i'm not 100 percent sure so uh look after yourselves thanks for stopping by and taking a look I will have an update on the Royal Fleet Auxiliary uh, RFA Black Rover that I'm scratch building. Um, so that will be something to show you. The uh, Carthaginian War Elephants in epic scale from Warlord Games. I've painted the last elephant. I'm just painting the howder. And I've still got to, I've got some of the crew finished. And I've, I've still got to finish that. So. That'll be that'll be another week or so before it gets a, a video. But um, I, th I don't think no point showing you the last uh, the last couple. Uh, there wasn't a lot of interest really on the other two elephants that I showed. So I'll just I'm just going to show that up when they're complete and they're on a base and everything. So um, yeah, and there'll be some other bits and pieces that need showing as well. So we'll we'll, we'll get round to that. Again, look after yourselves. Have a good weekend. We'll catch each other soon on another video.